Auto smelters in Minecraft are the perfect way to quickly smelt a ton of items. So in this video, learn how to easily build two different types that will be incredibly useful in any survival world. Now for both of these auto smelters, the larger and the smaller one, it's really important to decide on a fuel source for these farms. So of course, there's a ton of different fuels in Minecraft, and as an example in this smelter, we could actually use the bamboo planks as a fuel source putting them in here, and using those to be distributed amongst all of these, lighting them up. Now we could also use coal or lava or other sources, and another thing that we can also customize with these furnaces is what type of smelter is actually in it. Of course, you could use the standard furnace, which can smelt anything, but if you want a really quick way to smelt different materials like iron or gold, then the blast furnace is a great option. Also, if this is a food-specific smelter, or is maybe cooking something like kelp, you could use the smoker. But to learn more about all these different furnaces and what type of fuel to use, be sure to check out my furnace guide Guide, and I'll have an iCard and link in the description and comment below for that. The great thing is, both of these designs are relatively small and easy to build, but quite efficient. So it's a good idea to integrate these right into your survival base. Anyway, let's get into exactly how to build this first auto smelter. The first type of auto smelter needs four rails, four powered rails, a minecart with chest, a block of redstone, 18 hoppers, four furnaces, and you can convert these furnaces into either blast furnaces furnaces or smokers if you want. Then we need two chests and of course a good amount of fuel, whatever that fuel is going to be. Alright, so to make this simple auto smelter in Minecraft, place two chests, then make a circular shape with hoppers, just like this with eight hoppers, and these are all going to be leading into the chest. So no matter where we put an item here, all of these are going to go into here. Now we're going to take furnaces and place a furnace on top of each one of these hoppers. I like placing the furnaces in a way where I can see if they're on or not. Then into the top of these furnaces, also place an additional hopper, and that's going to use up all 16 of our hoppers. Use the bendable non-powered rails in the corners here, and use the standard powered rails on the centers. And then in the middle, we're going to put a block of redstone, and we're going to put that minecart with chest up here. We're going to have to start by pushing it and it's going to move around. Now the minecart is a bit loud, so if you don't like that, you can always take this off when you're not using it. So we have the minecart around there and it's going around. You now want to take all the fuel you have and divide that into eighths and put each one of those pieces of fuel into the furnaces here. Ideally, I would suggest just filling all of these furnaces up with as much fuel as you can. Maybe a stack of coal in each furnace would be perfect. Now in the top here, that's where we put our input and in the bottom here is the output. We have a lot of sand around here. Let's make some glass. To use this, just start right clicking up here and go into this minecart with chest. Throw on the top of that whatever items you want to smelt. You could fill this full if you want, doesn't really matter. So we're going to put those in here and it's going to start being completely perfectly distributed throughout every single one of these furnaces, which means that we now have an eight times faster smelting system with little effort. Once all the items have been distributed there, as you can see, there is eight sand in each. They're just going to smelt through normally and they're all going to collect in that bottom chest. So this is a very very simple auto smelter if you want to cook a small amount of items without automatic fuel replacement. And now I'm going to show you how to make a large auto smelter which contains 16 furnaces, will automatically fuel your furnaces as well, and overall is just a much better design. Also this auto smelter should even be efficient enough for a lot of late game players. Also both of these auto smelters I designed myself, with this large auto smelter literally being a brand new design just for the video. So let's take a look at what we need. You're going to need at least two chests, 48 hoppers, 2 minecart with chests, 8 rails, 32 powered rails, 16 furnaces, 12 oak planks, or actually any building block is fine, 3 signs, ideally, they just look a lot better if they're there, you also want to have a ladder, 2 redstone blocks, and then some fuel like coal. And one thing I would say is that a farm like this, where that fuel is also automatically distributed, is perfect for using things like bamboo or bamboo planks, so I would suggest potentially using that also instead of your standard fuel. Anyway, let's grab all of these building blocks and create this large auto smelter. If you think 48 hoppers is a lot, by the way, this is the minimum amount that could be used to make this design, so you're never going to find a 16 furnace auto smelter that does not at least use 48 hoppers. We're going to start this farm by placing down a double chest. The rest of the farm is going to go in front of this, so be aware of that. Place a hopper going into the side of the double chest on either side, so that that's leading into there. Now place seven more hoppers behind each one of 
of these. So we'll do seven more behind this hopper, and we will also do seven more behind this hopper. This design will fit in small spaces because it's split in two like this. Now on top of each of those hoppers, we're going to place a furnace. That's a total of eight furnaces on each side, including a furnace on that final hopper. Now that we have all these furnaces down, place a hopper that is inputting into each one of these furnaces so that we can get whatever we're cooking into there. Now for the fuel hoppers, we want to place hoppers going into the sides of each one of these chests like this. And you'll notice that when we place these hoppers over here as well, those two connect just like this. So every one of these 16 furnaces has an input, output, and fuel hopper. Using our oak planks, or whatever building block you decided to use, place down two planks in front of the chest just like this. Then place an additional plank to the side here, breaking this here as a temporary block. Once we've done that, we actually want to repeat the same pattern over here. So that will be done by above these two planks and the one here. We also have two planks here, and we're going to have one above that over there. These are going to be stops for the fuel chest and the smelting items chest. On this side, we need to end off this farm, so place down two wood blocks or whatever building block over here, breaking all those temporaries. Now for our final four blocks, we're going to place them at the end here, connecting these two chains of hoppers in the back here. Now that we've placed all these wood blocks, this farm is now ready for our rails. Place down a powered rail, then a standard rail following that, then put this entire line of hoppers here to be covered in powered rails. At the end with these wood blocks, place down four standard rails. On the other side of the farm here, continue placing down powered rails on this, so that every single one of these top hoppers has a powered rail on it. Now go to the center of these rails here, so there should be about four hoppers in either direction, and place two redstone blocks on either side here. These redstone blocks are going to power up all of the rails over here, and make sure that the farm works. Obviously though, we also need the rails for the other part of the system. So for this side, of course, start with a powered rail, then go on to an unpowered one. Then after that, place down powered rails all the way down these hoppers here, except for once we get to the end, place down two standard rails. After that, continue placing down powered rails, so that that ends off here at this wood block. Now this entire system is almost completely done. We also want to put a minecart with chest on each one of these unpowered powered rails, and we want to take this lever and put it right behind here. Because when we flick that lever, this farm is going to turn on and then work. We can turn off the farm by flicking that lever, and those two are going to dock. Now something I would suggest doing, just because it's so nice, is that we have here our output, input, and fuel chest all next to each other. So let's label these and make it a little bit easier. So we have items to smelt, fuel, and smelted items chests. And of course to use this farm is exactly like that. So go into this top minecart with chest, and fill it up with all the items you have to smelt. Then in the fuel chest here, put all the fuel you want to be distributed through this system. This time we're going to use bamboo planks, and finally, once we turn this on, we'll eventually get our output here in the smelted items chest. One thing you can also do if you want is you can have chests here, with hoppers leading into these minecart chests, but generally I would say it's best just to manually fill them whenever you need them. Anyway, now that both the fuel and the items to smelt chests are going through the system here efficiently as you can see, we can even notice here, looking in the minecart with chests, that it is perfectly distributing all of our raw gold here. Here, as every single one of these smelters is alive, fueling, and cooking that gold. And it's being fueled, of course, with those bamboo planks we put in. You can see here in the smelted items chest, we have already a stack, in fact, over a stack of smelted gold. It is going so quickly because it is 16 times quicker than it would be without an auto smelter. So this is how you build an amazing, efficient, compact auto smelter inside of Minecraft 1.20 that I designed myself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to press the like button, subscribe to see more content like this. Good luck efficiently smelting, and I will see you in the next Minecraft video. Goodbye!